park an extended one. Okay. Yeah. I had a one. What's up guys, David at Finish Line Factory and I'm uh, actually just walking around back to get out of the crowd. So I'm here at Diamonds and Donuts at Diamonds Bar Raymond Lee in Boca Raton and they have this huge like muscle ex JDM import exotic car show. I haven't been here in a while, they usually do this like every month or so but it's kind of in the morning and uh, I go to enough car shows in the morning so I get kind of, well, sometimes I just can't wake up in time to get here. Get some donuts, get some coffee and uh, maybe I can like wake up and I'll be a little more vibrant or something, you know? All right, so I'm gonna get over to the exotics pretty soon but let's start over here. We got GTR, a Skyline and this Kooky S14. Oh man. Hey, hey, is this, is this your car? That is my car. Oh man, I'm sorry, you have a Nissan. Gonna be much broken on it. Yes, everything, always. Oh man, yeah, I remember my car, my yeah. S14. My always, Kuki. everything broken. Everything was broken. Yeah. It's just, it, the important thing is to not give it the appearance of being broken. No, no, you no, know? no, no, As long definitely. as it looks clean, nobody looks It looks, looks perfect, like, yeah, like I could just start it and drive it, no. Exactly, No, exactly. the flatbed will be here in like two hours. Nice, yeah, nice. That's it. Good, yeah. good. Always have, no. always have triple A. Always have triple A. Nice. Looks at about 30 horsepower. 30 horsepower? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, on a good day, full boost. Full boost? Full boost. Nice, nice. Your car? Okay, you got your toy car. So, your uh, your engine is fully built, isn't it? Yeah, well, defined fully. Fits and broad head gasket. Good enough. Yeah. And uh, I think I think mine had head work, but that's, uh, that's the only difference, really. Yeah, I mean, I, it's got uh, stage three Brian Crower cams. It's got a uh, oh, Cosworth my... head gasket. You have the valve springs? I did the, uh, what, SC. ST valve uh, springs and retainers. Okay. Um, Super tech, yeah. It's got, uh, let's see, for pistons and rods, I think a Carrillo rods and CP pistons. I don't know if I did CP or Wiseco. I have to look at my numbers. Well, typically, Carrillo and CP, because they're kind of the same company, yeah. more or less, they, that's a pretty good combo. That's what I had on my KA. Yeah. And I had the Brian Crower Sage Street cams. Yeah. And, but I also had a full Brian Crower valve train. Well, the problem with the, the Stage 3 cams was having to shave the head so the cam lobe could spin. I don't think I had to shave my cams. Oh man, my, my, my lobes wouldn't spin at all. Oh wow, I yeah. think I think it depends. My mo my, um, my head casting was wide enough that the cam could like rotate. Oh no, we had to dig out quite a bit for the lobes to spin around. Okay, I it guess, was wild. I guess I just got lucky then. You did, yeah, for sure, yeah. if you didn't have to mod it. Oh, yeah. Let's see. oh I like that. Is that, is that a factory um, power steering uh, reservoir? No, Chase Bay. No? Oh, good, good. I had I had constant issues with my power steering reservoir, like bubbling over and fluid spilling out of the. Well, and then you Chase get Bay power has a, uh, According to their, from what they tell me, they have a triple baffle in here. A triple baffle. A triple baffle setup, and also you only fill it up to about this line. Okay. So it has all the room for expansion. I could run the car hot, and I don't ever have any issue. Yeah, I had frequent issues, so I probably should have bought one of those. Yeah, it was it was a little pricey, but they have a lot of quality and build. Well worth it. Well worth yeah. it. Chase Base makes good stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna let him do his thing. I'm gonna come over here to this skyline. So it says ER34. So typically, if it's an R34 GTR, it'll say BNR, and if it's a um, and if it's a non GTR, it'll say it'll start with BNC. Uh, however, it's I don't know. I don't think this is a GTR. I think this is modified to be similar. So this might be like a GTT or GTS. But yeah, it's got an RB25 in it, so that's not too bad. Uh, it's just rear-wheel drive. RB25, it's a Nismo. I don't know if that's a Nismo. I think they just put a Nismo sticker on the fuel rail, but it looks good. Ready intake manifold. What's going on with the interior? 
Let's see, we got pride seats. There we go. Looks like the rest of the interior is factory except for a Kenwood radio. And back here. Yep, there you go. GTT. Yeah, there's guys that, that so, do like. Uh, I like that, I like that. And I like that they left the badge on there instead of you know, doing what everyone else does and, and putting like a GTR front end and then putting a GTR badge on it. Like, come on, man, it's not a GTR. Uh, the GTR chassis and the non GTR chassis is physically different. You can't bolt the suspension from the GTR into the non GTR, so. You know, there you go. All right, let's head over into the exotic section. Uh, I know it's kind of loud because the music's over there kind of loud, but let's see what's going on. They got a uh, Blue Glauso Aventador SV. Let's see, GT2 RS, GT3 RS. Got a Ferrari 488. Aventador uh, Roadster. Got a Huracan. Oh, it's a rear wheel drive Huracan. Let's see, let's see. This, this GTS is super dirty. There you go. <laughs> This is driven, kept outside. Uh, let's see, we've got a California. We got a flat purple 720S, that's kind of cool. Uh, so we got a carbon edition 4 GT right over there. Let's see, 720S, we got a silver 4 GT. Look at this, we got a Viper, another Viper. There's like three Vipers down there. Tesla Club is out in full force. You got one Tesla, two Tesla. Three Tesla, four, five, six, seven. Sheesh. Man, it's toasty outside. Did you go over? Got some donuts here. Where's the pumpkin donuts? There's gotta be like a here too. too. There's gotta be a pumpkin donut somewhere. There we go. Right there. I'll take that right there. Pumpkin donut. Wait, I don't know if that's a pumpkin. Yeah, a pumpkin. Hey! Face lived in NSX. There we go. Oh, you know what? This one's turbo. This one's not stock. You can hear the turbos. Go. That one's turbo. What's up, man? That NSX is turbo. Is it turbo? Yes. Oh, wait a second. Hey, you know it's got a K-Series in this thing? I heard that. Holy shit. Because, you know, the factory C32 isn't enough. you got to have a K-Series. You've got a huge intake manifold. Not step in the water here. Crap. Now, that's something you don't see. Man. I thought it sounded a little weird. Let's see, rolling in 80 ones too. Digging the hood. Right there. Dude. Keep it running. Fiber side skirt, copper fiber scoop. <laughs> Rev it up a little bit. Got the seat vent here. The police. All right, let's get a closer look. So here we got a tire blow off valve. With the all-in fabrication. I'm guessing well, custom intake manifold. K-tuned throttle body. Dual injectors. It doesn't have just have bigger injectors. It has two injectors for each cylinder. Because you know, it's probably running stage injection. Oh man. Good stuff. I can't see what turbo is running because it's on the other side, but it's probably somewhere in this area here. Hey, hey, so this is my buddy Mike. It's Mike's birthday, everybody say happy birthday. You're collectively having tens of people say happy birthday to you right now. Thank you. Tens Thank you. of people. I appreciate it. Tens I of do. people watch this. I do, guys. Like five. That's all right. Five, five is tens. more than zero. Five is more than zero. So we're gonna we're gonna go somewhere for lunch, breakfast, Rocco's. brunch. Rocco's. Rocco's is good. Rocco's and Del Rey. We're getting tacos at Rocco's. Be Rocco's there. tacos. All right, be there. Tacos. Be there. Well, you're gonna watch this video on like Tuesday or something, so yeah. So no, you're not, not gonna make it. You're gonna miss out. So, it's your so fault. Call me up. We'll fault. go get tacos. Call him up. We'll get tacos. His number is. Uh, oh man. Oh, check this out. Check this out. There's a a real Acura Integra Type R. Check this out. Oh man. Oh man. And everything is. It's got period correct modifications too, so it's got this uh, this spoon uh, silicone radiator hose. It's got hmm, I don't I don't know if that's the factory intake. It kind of looks like it is a CT engineering. Okay, that's what it says right there on this carb sticker. So it's got a CT engineering intake, but it looks like this is a factory intake tube. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. Uh, what else we have going on here? So we got the spoon uh, reservoir socks. 
good stuff. Koyo radiator. Mm. But it's very clean, very original. I think the only modification I see uh, is probably the carbon fiber canards, which is easily reversible. Let's see, it's got the five lug, yellow paint. I forgot the name of this color. I'm sure Stuart will uh, comment in the comments. Or you guys can comment in the comments. Red Recaro seats. It's got a Momo steering wheel and looks like a neochrome shift knob. Let me zoom in on that. Ooh, that's nice. Really clean, really nice, all original. Not molested or modified. Uh, the only changes, oh, there's another change here. It looks like this is a, uh, the Hasport um, or something similar in motor mount. And I think it's got the opposite side as well right there. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Looks like, uh, looks like a lot of fun. Looks like the, uh, the driver of the Dodge Viper ran out of talent. So let's go check it out. Doesn't look like the car's that bad. Uh, let's see, took, definitely took it out of problem tree. Well, I found the wing. All right. Oh, doesn't look too bad. You know, the bracket fell. Ooh. Not too bad. That would be great. Guys, if you could get back, that would help. It's all fiberglass. Guys, if you could get back, that would help. Look at this guy. Hey, hey. What's up, brother? What's going on? There you go. Oh. Uh, now everyone's over here. So this is the problem with showing off. You don't know how to show off, or if you make a mistake, even if you do know what you're doing. Now the entire crowd of the entire car show is going to come and shame you, so uh, this is why you don't show off or be very, very, very careful. But, but anyway, I'm not an asshole. I'm not going to continue to capitalize on someone else's misfortune. Uh, some people, like that guy over there, will continue to do so because all they uh, think about is the negative in life, right? Right? So like, like this guy right here, you see, like so, some of these, some of these other guys, they like to capitalize on other people's misfortune. You know, and I think that's kind of wrong. It's kind of messed up. You know, nah, it is messed up. Like, look, look, look did you show, did you show the camera. How, how I, I, I went there. I videoed it briefly. You know, I checked it out, and then uh, it got, I got off. You know. Yeah, that's. Like you know what? Oh yeah, that's. You got to limit that's it. That's so unfortunate. You know, you, that's so unfortunate. Hey, you know. Yeah, well, that's what happens. You know, when if you come you to the car show, you know what it is. You, nice car, but, you, you know? come to, you come out to the car show. You, you it's miss, it's inexperience. Yeah. And you know, it's, you got a supercharged Viper, a car that's kind of touchy to begin with. He had a supercharger, he's got like 800 horsepower now. Yeah. You know? So his problem was that he got in the throttle and then when he started oversteering, instead of staying in the throttle and maintaining the slide, he lifted off the throttle, the car catches traction and spins the other way. Yeah. That's, That's what happened. happened. So it's a it's a rookie mistake. It happens like to everyone that is isn't like experience with oversteer because how often do you really experience oversteer? You know, usually you're That's true. you're staying in your safe zone. So yeah, you know. But uh, I'm not well, gonna. It's on the car too, though. Unlike, unlike the, the three other guys over there, I'm not gonna go and continue videoing the car. I'm just you know. Catch my shots and that's it, you know. Yeah, that's what happens on a car show. I was like, actually expecting something happen like this. Exactly, today, exactly. Some know? some shit people, happens. People pull out, show off. Exactly. Yeah. Don't sit there. The driver's it's, fine though. I the driver's think. fine. It's just fiberglass. It's not like a total wreck. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just you buy a couple parts and you're good to go. Yeah. So. A thousand bucks. And yeah. Fine. What? Not a big deal. All right, guys. Event has uh, wound down. Everything's uh, done. Everything's over with. 
I'm heading home. Actually, I'm gonna head to uh, my buddy's birthday dinner, lunch, brunch thing at Rocco's Tacos. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.